Welcome to Wealthwatch TV. My name's Graham Rowan, and I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the government, I'm not happy with the financial services industry, and I'm not happy with the weather. We're taxed on everything we earn, and then using money that's already been taxed, we're taxed on everything we spend. Then, when we have the audacity to die, thinking at least that'll mean no more taxes, we're taxed on virtually everything we leave behind. The government lies to us about inflation, then it deliberately devalues our currency so our savings are worth less. What do I mean worthless? They're dreaming up new taxes like mansion taxes, wealth taxes and green taxes. Don't be surprised if they've got a Cyprus-style raid on your savings in the plan as well. When the judge asks the accused why he robs banks, the reply is, because that's where the money is. It's an old joke, but it needs updating. Why are politicians targeting the middle class? Because they're the ones stupid enough to have sweated away to create savings and assets. They believe in an old-fashioned model where you work hard to create wealth and financial independence, unlike the mediocre majority who learn how to work the system for handouts from cradle to grave. Do you ever watch the human train wrecks on the Jeremy Kyle or Jerry Springer shows? Guess what? They all get to vote in elections. And who do they vote for? The ones who give them handouts. In some parts of this country, 65% of the economy is dependent on state and local government spending. How can that be sustainable? But don't ask me who to vote for because I haven't a clue. I don't see any of the major political parties reflecting my values. But I don't want to vote for the lunatic fringe either. Talking of lunatics, what's your experience been of the financial services industry over the last couple of decades? Has it been A, dire, B, like being mugged with a cricket bat, or C, a complete waste of time and money? All of the above? All right, you've had the same experience as me. I've now taken up a new role as the anti-IFA. I'm sick of their lack of knowledge, their limited understanding of the whole investment world, and their lack of skin in the game. How often are they heavily invested in the things they recommend to you? Most of them are not wealthy, so we pay a minimum of 1,500 quid to get financial advice from poor people. And we can't bypass them to make our own decisions because of the Financial Services Authority. Yes, the same organisation that failed to see the financial crisis coming. We know how much they've got their finger on the pulse. We can't have citizens taking their own investment decisions. Do these people think they live in a democracy or something? Just invest in the things we tell you are safe, like Enron, Northern Rock or Facebook. So what does an anti-IFA do? I'm a renegade investor scouring the market for extraordinary investments that you don't find on the high street. I do loads of due diligence on them, and if they reach my exacting standards, I put my own money into them. Then I partner with the company that provides the investment to make it available to the people who watch and read my stuff. I get paid a small commission because I'm bringing clients to them without them having any marketing costs. And that enables me to keep a roof over my head, pay lots of taxes, and keep looking for the next big opportunity. It also means I can provide all this content to you completely free of charge. As well as my monthly Wealthwatch newsletter, there's a weekly blog post every Tuesday morning at blog.wealthwatch.tv and there's also a Wealthwatch TV episode every Thursday afternoon. They'll be on one of four themes. The Investment University, where I'll explain the workings of a particular aspect of wealth creation or wealth protection. Look over my shoulder, where I'll talk about one of the latest investments I'm researching. The news behind the news, when I cut through the crap to tell you what's really happening, despite what the media may be reporting and Rowan's Rant. Yes, the most popular column from my printed Wealthwatch newsletter now finds its way onto the big screen, where I can let rip about something that's got under my skin each month. If that's of interest to you, just sign up at wealthinvest.co.uk. If you think I'm a moron who should be sent to political correctness reprogramming school, this might not be the place for you. Which brings me to the weather. Oh, forget it, I can't change the government, I can't change the financial services industry, and I can't change the weather. 
but I can change the way I think about investing, wealth creation and wealth protection. If you're up for the journey and you want to join me on it, just click the subscribe button and let's get started.